Hi guys and welcome to TBMS. In this video, I'll show you how to make a booking and save it into the system. Once onto the main page, press the make booking function from the menu bar, after which you'll be redirected to this page. Here on the top, you can see the job reference number which will automatically be given to you by the system defaults. Below you can see five different types of accounts from which you may select depending upon the pay type customer, whether cash, account, card, check. I'll just go with account for now. Then you have to select the customer's name or surname depending on how you have saved them in the system. As you can see, the details will automatically pop up. Then you have to select the date for the booking. i just go with 20th March. The plus one and the minus one are used for selecting the day after or day before state. Then you have to enter the timings for the booking. 1700. Similarly, the digits next to the time function add minutes. Say for instance, we click on this plus five. This will change to 1705. Then we have to put in the addresses. Row. And let's see what happens when we add the postcode and drop off address. As you can see, all the addresses with this postcode will pop up. Then we have the option to put in the flight number. The job comment section allows you to place any notes or instructions for the driver. Coming to this section, you have the price boxes having two sides. One is for the driver and the other one for the company. You can save the job fare, parking, rating and any other charges in these boxes. Then you have the option to indicate the number of people who need to travel, the number of vehicles need to be sent for this job. If there is a child seat required or whether there is a wheelchair, then you can hide the driver from a booking, you can give the driver the facility to edit the fare, then you, you can select the vehicle, you can place a reminder in case you want to follow up on a job, you can also select the payment status whether it has been received or it's pending. Here you can flag a booking and in this section you can indicate as to why you have flagged this particular booking. And then at the bottom of the screen, you have different names from where you can allocate and assign the booking to the person by selecting the little boxes next to their names. Besides that, you can also send job via text by clicking on the little envelope which indicates message. You can also send a notification on the driver's app that the job has been assigned to him by clicking on the corner sign next to the envelope. So these were some basic details which you may require for a booking. However, we have many more amazing options here to explore, like on the top we have a button saying logs. This would show the names of all the employees along with the actions and timings as to when they have been done. Then we have a complaint box where we can save a customer's complaint. We have an option to complete a job. We can also create multiple bookings by clicking on reoccurring jobs. We can filter these and have the option to exclude the days according to how we want to make the duplicate bookings. Now the system by default saves the booking as pending. However, you can also change the status as you want it to be. One very helpful and amazing function here is the option to go through all the customer's previous booking history at the same time when you are making the booking. So if you want to make a booking exactly the same as in history, you can simply select it and it would automatically bring up the same addresses. It also helps you in checking the prices which you have entered for any previous jobs. You have an option which is called the client notes on the top where you can set any special instructions or directions given by the client for this particular job. Below this you have a place where you can store customer's card details. You can also add an address by clicking on via address and entering a different address into the booking and then simply save. And then at the end we have a separate section which also gives us many different facilities like we can send the driver this SMS about the job details, we can email the driver, we can send the customer email confirmation from this booking by simply clicking on confirmation email. You can also make a return job by clicking on this return job and you can enter all the return details by simply entering these fields and by clicking on save you can save both these jobs. Then you have the option to duplicate a job, print a job, generate a receipt for this booking and at the end save and dispatch which you have to click once all the details have been entered. So in short everything is present in the system, anything you want to record of or anything you need to make a booking of 
or saving a customer's profile. You have all the options here and you simply need to add them and save them. So this is it with this video. So if you guys have any queries, please feel free to email it to me and my team will be happy to answer all your questions.